Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson, Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 12, Distributing Expressions. Student outcomes for today. Students model and write equivalent expressions using the distributive property. They move from a factored form to an expanded form of an expression. Opening exercise. Part A. Create a model to show 2 times 5. Part B. Create a model to show 2 times B or 2B. Example number one. Write an expression that is equivalent to 2 times the sum of a plus b. First, create a model to represent a plus b. The expression 2 times the sum of a plus b tells us that we have 2 of the a plus b's. So let's create a model that shows 2 groups of a plus b. How many A's and how many B's do you see in the diagram? There are two A's and there are two B's. How would the model look if we regrouped the A's together and then grouped the B's together? What expression could we write to represent the new diagram? What conclusion can we draw from the models about equivalent expressions? We can conclude that 2 times the sum of a plus b is equal to 2a plus 2b. Question. What happens when we double a plus b? That means that we double a and we double b. Example number two. Write an expression that is equivalent to double 3x plus 4y. How can we rewrite the doubled expression? Well, double is the same as multiplying by 2. So we can rewrite the expression by putting 2 times 3x plus 4y. 2 indicates double. So, is this expression in factored form, expanded form, or neither? This expression is in factored form. Let's start this problem the same way that we started the first example. What should we do first? 
we can make a model of 3x plus 4y. How can we change the model to show 2 times the sum of 3x plus 4y? We can make two copies of the model. Are the terms that we can are there terms that we can combine? Yes, there are. Let's rewrite this model combining terms. As you can see, there are six x's and eight y's, which is the same, which is the same as six x plus eight y. What is the equivalent expression that we can use to represent two times the sum of three x plus four y? It is six x plus eight y. So. 2 times the sum of 3x plus 4y is equal to 6x plus 8y. Example 3. Write an expression in expanded form that is equivalent to the model below. What factored expression is represented by the model? Y times 4x plus 5. How can we rewrite this expression? We can take Y and multiply it times 4x, and we end up with 4 x y plus y times 5 is 5y. So y times the sum of 4x plus 5 equals 4xy plus 5y. Example 4. Write an expression that is equivalent to 3 times the sum of 7d plus 4e. First, we will multiply 3 times 7d and 3 times 4e and we end up with 21d plus 12e. So we can say that 3 times the sum of 7d plus 4e is equal to 21d plus 12e. exercises. For numbers 1 and 2, you're going to create a model for each expression, then write another equivalent expression using the distributive property. So please go ahead, try number 1 first, pause the video, and then come back when you're ready. So for the first one, we can see that we have 3xy. 
So I'm going to start by creating my first x, y. x, y. It's helpful to make one a little bigger or smaller. Then you're going to create three copies total of your x, y. There's my three. And we can see that I have x, y, one, two, three times. I'm going to label these x plus y, x plus y, and x plus y. Now it asked for us to write the expression another way, an equivalent expression using the distributive property. So now I'm going to take my x's and I want to group them together. I have x, 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 and then I'm going to group my y's together. y, y, y. So here I have 3x plus 3y, which can be written as 3x plus 3y, which is also equivalent to 3 times x plus y. And the reason for that is we have three x's here, one, two, three. We have three x's here. We have three y's in the first one and three y's in the second one. That makes them equivalent. Exercise number two. We're going to start the same way. This one's a little bit different. It says four times the sum of two h plus g. So go ahead, pause the video, create your diagram, and come back when you're ready. And remember, we need the model and then a second model showing the distributive property. Okay, so to start off, I need to create four of these 2h plus g. So there's one 2h plus g, and I'm going to go ahead and create four of them. And I'm going to go ahead and join these all together, hopefully a little better than that. I'm actually going to run out of room here, so let's see if I can. This one's going to be tacked off to the side. I'm going to make them a little smaller for you. Okay. I think you get the idea there. I have two, excuse me, I have four sets of 2h plus g. Now they asked me to write that in another way, so I'm going to group my like terms, and I can see I have 2h, 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 and 2h. So all together that's 8h, so we're going to put them here. That shows you my 8H. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4 G's. Four G. And this can be written as 8H plus 4 G. And we should realize that 8h plus 4g is equal to 4 times 2h plus g.
on to examples three through eight. Here I'd like you to apply the distributive property to write the equivalent expressions. So once again, pause the video and come back when you're ready. Number three. So I'm going to take my outside term, multiply it by 8. So I have 8h. Then I'm going to take the 8 and multiply it by 3. And I get 24. So there's an example of how to use the distributive property. 3 times 2h plus 7. Again, pause the video. Come back when you're ready. So same thing as before. 3 times 2h is 6h, then 3 times 7 is 21, so my answer is 6h plus 21. Number 5, 5 times the sum of 3x plus 9y, go ahead and pause the video, come back when you're ready. So I start off with 5 times 3x, which is 15x, plus 5 times 9y which is 45y. <coughs> Number 6. 4 times the sum of 11h plus 3g. Solve it and come back when you're ready. So first thing is 4 times 11 is 44h plus 4 times 3g, which is 12g. And I end up with 44h plus 12g. Next we have 7k and 12m and then j. So this is a multiplication problem. It's really kind of like area. So you're going to group your terms and then show the distributive property. Pause the video and come back when you're ready. Okay. So what may help you on this one is understanding that all these opposite sides are equal. So for this first part, we want 7 times k. So we can put 7jk. Or we could put kj, it doesn't really matter, order doesn't matter there. Plus 12 times j. So we can put 12jm. And again, order doesn't matter. So the answer is 7jk plus 12jm. Number 8, a times 9b plus 13. Pause the video and come back when you're ready. So first we'll take a and multiply it times 9b. We end up with 9ab plus a times 13, which is 13a. Our answer is 9ab plus 13. So in summary here, when you have A times the sum of B plus C, we're really saying that you multiply A groups times the sum of B plus C. And when we use the distributive property, we can multiply A times B, which is AB, plus A times C which is AC, and both of these terms, or these expressions, are equivalent. Whoop. You guys did a great job today, wonderful lesson. When you're done, please complete your exit ticket and bring it to me when you're done. Thank you and have a great day.